Okay, basically we have a 65 year old patient with history of lung cancer. He's coming in with progressive shortness of breath and presyncope on examination. He has a low blood pressure and he has pulses paradoxus, elevated JVP and muffled heart sounds. So, first with the parasternal long axis view, we can see the left ventricle, left atrium, and we can see that there's something outside the heart and the heart seems to be swinging or dancing around this is the first clue if we go to the short axis view we can appreciate that the heart is really dancing in this bag most likely it's fluid next view is the apical four chamber view we can get the depth we're going to need some more depth and here we can see that the heart is swinging in a heart in a, in a sack of fluid but if you can appreciate this looking at the right atrium the right atrium seems to be collapsing the right atrium seems to be collapsing most likely from the increased pressure of the pericardial fluid looking at the Subcostal view, I will decrease the depth a little bit. All right. You can also appreciate that when the ventricles are beating, the right atrium is opening, but when the ventricles are relaxing, it's as if that the right atrium is collapsing. Now we can see the IVC. And look at the IVC. The IVC looks dilated and it's not moving with respiration. So this is a sign that the right atrial pressure is high. So all in all, this is a case of cardiac tamponade due to excessive pericardial fluid. And this is most likely due to malignancy.